Hi guys, welcome to That Going In Life. I'm Amy and this is video number four on our Disney planning series and it is all about Fast Pass Plus and my experience with it. So let's get started. Okay, um, so if you've seen any of my other videos about planning our Disney World vacation, you should know it's my husband and I. We've been to Disneyland. I've been to Disneyland twice. He's been to Disney, or I'm sorry, Disney World twice, and he's been to Disney World a lot more times. Uh, we are doing a very long road trip from Disneyland to Disney World. We are uh, Disney World and Disneyland. We're Premier Pass holders, um, staying off site. I think that's some pertinent information. Okay, um, so we are Disney World annual pass holders, which means that we are only allowed to book Fast Pass Plus for a block of seven days. Um, and I will tell you, it was a little bit annoying, but I completely understand it that they don't want uh, pass holders flooding up the system, um, and I believe it's seven days in a 30 day window. They don't want pass holders flooding up the system for other guests. Um, that is, if you stay on site, it doesn't matter. You can uh, reserve fast pass for your length of stay. But because my husband and I are not staying on property, we have to we don't get that. Um, another another thing is, is if you are not staying on property, you only get to book 30 days in advance and uh, you only get them to book them one day at a time. All right, so let me talk my ex about my experience uh, about this because it was interesting. Okay, um, so this was probably our number one drawback to staying off site um, was this fast pass situation and it didn't, I did not get everything I wanted. Let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you that right off the bat, um, but I think it'll be okay. So um, uh, starting December 28th, yes, a couple days after Christmas, I had to wake up at four in the morning, actually a little bit before. I think I woke up at like 3.55 in the morning to make our fast press reservations. And that is because um, the opening time slot to make your fast pass reservation is seven o'clock Eastern time. And I'm in California. But once again, that, I live in California, right? I can't do anything about that. So um, I had to get up every morning for a week. This included New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, to make those Fast Pass Plus reservation. And um, let me tell you something. Did not get Slinky Dog Dash. Did not get Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Did not get um, Flight of Passage. Now, Flight of Pas Passage, the Avatar ride, um, I think I might be the only person in the entire world who is not a fan of that ride. It makes me sick. I'm, I'm kind of get motion sickness and it, I, I rode it once last time and I was like, mm -mm, not worth, not worth ruining my day. Um, my husband rode it. He liked it, but it's, but he's like, but he's like, he was fine with skipping it. It's not, he likes it, but it's not his favorite thing. Um, and then Slinky Dog Dash, we did really want to ride. And so our compromise is, is we are just, we're just going to go. We're just going to wait in line. And guess what? It's not going to kill us to wait in line. You know, like we, Fast Pass is, it's a privilege. It's something great. It's like a bonus, you know, but if we really want to ride it, like we really want to ride Slinky Dog Dash, we'll just wait in line. Um, and actually what we're going to do is, is if you've seen our other videos, we're going for seven full days in the parks, but we have two extra days before our pat before we're actually starting our vacation because we're road tripping. So what we're going to do is we are just going to go 
on our first day, theoretically, this is our plan. We're going to eat dinner in Dinner Springs, head over to Hollywood Studio, and just get in line. And that is going to be our day we get into Orlando. We're just going to go and get in line for Slinky Dog Dash and go and get it. So uh, we didn't get it. We were able to get Alien Swirling Saucers and a lot of the other like big attraction we were able to get at like good time so our personal strategy for getting fast passes is if it's in like um is we want to try to get them in the first three hours that we can um we want to get the fast passes as soon as possible in order to be able to get more fast passes or personally for us um if we're tired we might just go take a break but that was more so in the hot weather. In the cold weather, we'll just probably chill out. So we, like, I I am more so a morning person. My husband's more so a night person. Um, but like, when we're up, we're like, yeah, let's go. You know, we have a lot of energy. And then we t tend to lull in the d during the afternoon. So if we're just chilling out, like watching sh some shows or whatever in the afternoon, that's fine. And then our energy picks back up in the evening so we could go have dinner and maybe we'll be able to make extra some extra fast classes or maybe we'll just stand in line you know so we generally we like to be able to book for like if it opens at eight or nine the nine o'clock somewhere in that nine nine hour somewhere in the 10 hour somewhere in the 11th hour and um for the most part we were able to do that sometimes it would have been like 10 11 and 12 in those hours but we've had no problem and i'm talking like test track which i love um we got frozen which i love you know we got like in magic kingdom we got all the mountains you know um hollywood studios we got like tower of terror which is awesome we got like we got we got other good ones, you know, like we just didn't get a lot of the new ones. And that is actually one of the reasons why we're so excited about the after hours event that we're doing in Magic Kingdom because yeah, we didn't, we're not staying on property, but maybe some of the money we're saving um, kind of from not staying on property, we um, can use to do something special like the extra magic after morning magic i don't know the disney after hours at magic kingdom um so we are really excited i do have to say though uh getting up so early especially during those holiday time is no joke and at a certain point in time i was like forget it i can't do it um things were also getting a little crazy at work for me my husband and i own our own business amy small world you can't see it <laughs> there's a thing there shout out to that um so it's getting a little crazy. So at a certain point in time, I just told like my husband and I were so busy. We we're like, we're just not getting up uh, at four o'clock in the morning anymore. It, we can't do it. Like it's affecting our brain. So we just got up at regular time and guess what? It worked out fine. Um, we were still able to get great things. So um, Fast Pass Plus, my advice is do it. You know, do it as soon as you can. But personally, um, for us, attractions aren't necessarily the main thing. We definitely love attractions, but like Peter Pan, one of my favorites closed, guess what? Still going to have a great time, you know, like my husband, I love him. I get to spend time with him. We get to be a part of magic, you know, how terrible can that be? Um, yeah, so... That was it. Basically, I just wanted to say Fast Pass Plus for Disney World off-site guest. It's not ideal. You probably won't get everything you want, but you'll get good stuff, you know? Like, who's complaining about going, having a day where you do Splash Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain? I mean, come on. That's a pretty good day, right? All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.